Hey champs, Coach Melissa here with your next three minute boxing snack. Got three exercises that requires the use of an open wall or a tree, a tree trunk. So let's get started. The first minute we're gonna talk about a plyometric push up and it's assisted of course. So if we find that wall, that surface or tree trunk, we're gonna stand a couple feet away from it and we're gonna have our shoulders back and down, feet about hip width apart and we're gonna slowly walk our way forward, folding down, and then toward the base of the wall, we're gonna walk our way up to shoulder level. Push up, about shoulder width apart, and push away, open arms, keeping our tummy tight. We're gonna do those several times throughout one minute, nice and slow, folding forward, walking from the base up to shoulder width, shoulder height, lean forward, push, open, proud chest forward fold, walk, shoulder level and shoulder width for your hands, shoulders are locked down, I'm on my tiptoes, pelvis is tucked under, leading with the chest, push up, up, and open. Let's get three more of those in guys, folding, walking, shoulder level, shoulder width, lead with the chest, push, big proud open chest. The entire exercise is explosive, but at your own pace and rhythm, and it's requiring you to stay stiff in the tummy and the glutes the entire time. That's the first exercise. The second exercise for the second minute is the same distance away from the wall or tree. We're gonna lean forward, arms are shoulder level and shoulder width apart, about this wide, right? Locking the shoulders down. We're gonna do what's called a renegade row. So staying on the tiptoes, I'm gonna row one shoulder blade and arm into my back. My hand comes to the outside of my chest, release, and then the other side. So I'm actually doing a single arm plank in this assisted position as I'm rowing my body weight. So shoulder blade pulls into the back and release. I'm not letting my legs go soft or my hips sag in. I'm staying on those tiptoes. Glutes are tight, tummy's tight. We're gonna get in eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And time, come back to standing. Last exercise for one minute is going to be a wall sit with a calf raise. So all that means is you've gotta be at least a foot or two away from your surface so you can lean back. And when you lean back, you wanna sit down until your knees are at about 90 degrees if possible. Knees are right over the ankles, okay? You don't want your feet too far back because you don't wanna feel the stress in the knees, more your quadriceps and your glutes. I'm gonna lean back into the chair, okay? And just hands on my waist. The calf raises mean I'm gonna bring one heel off the ground at a time, up and down, up and down. And I'm gonna change angles so you can see both feet a little better. And if alternating is fairly easy, okay? One heel and then the other, then do them at the same time for 30 more seconds. If you find yourself sliding, bring those feet back, lean against the wall, proud chest, shoulders are back and down alternating to keep you rooted, but if you can do both, do it. So five, four, three, two, one. And then slowly use the wall to help stand back up. So there you have it. One set of three body weight exercises that are challenging, but at your own level. You can do it one set or repeat this two to three times for a nice workout. Get after it, let me know how you do.